This EMS station and these ambulances in Cleora have sat unused since December 18th. That's when Integrity went out of business here. Right now, the authority in charge of ambulance service in Cleora is scrambling to find another service provider to staff this facility and respond to calls. Just a few years back, residents of the small Grand Lake community of Cleora voted to pay higher property taxes so they could build this brand new EMS station, fill it with equipment, and pay to contract paramedics to staff it. On December 17th, Frank Colburn, then chairperson of the Cleora Emergency Medical Service Trust, went to Integrity EMS in Broken Arrow to renew the town's contract for 2011. It looked normal to me, people scurrying around and uh, ambulances there and uh, a normal office operation when I negotiated, uh, we radically had finished the negotiation, so we signed the contract and discussed it. And uh, I left, so there was no indication that there was a problem. But there was a problem. The next day, Frank got a call from the state saying Integrity was being shut down for non-payment on its insurance, leaving Cleora without EMS service. Everybody's uh, upset. I mean, the community, the trust, uh, you know, we depend on them for our community's lives. So uh, we're scurrying to get service back. Current trust chairman Gary Smiley says with more rural EMSs going out of business all the time, he's having a hard time trying to find another provider to step in. In the meantime, residents in his district are having to rely upon the volunteer fire department or neighboring communities that are 20 to 25 minutes away to respond to calls. Not an ideal when you're used to a five minute response or 10 minute response, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's bad. Integrity's broken air office is abandoned. Its phone is shut down. I did reach owner Kay Wyman by phone, but she refused to comment. Integrity also provided medical services in the town of Eufaula. I talked with the mayor there today. He tells me that the city actually had two ambulance services, so the other one is picking up the slack. Reporting from Cleora, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you.